Agusa was the top tier Pokemon from Generation 6, residing in Ubers. It was only until in Generation 8 that Agusa dropped from Ubers all the way to UU. Let me fill you on why. There were multiple reasons on Agusa's drop. The first reason was power creep. As each generation passes by, there will be stronger, faster, and even bulkier Pokemon. In Generation 7, the introduction to Luna Cosma Dust Main and Toxapex were two competitors that Aegislash needs to fight against, being both very bulky and can counter a good amount of Pokemon and Ubers. The two also has access to hazards and especially recovery moves, which Aegislash does not have, and so it relies on leftovers. Aegislash is considered to be fodder once his item has been either tricked or knocked off. Furthermore, the Cosmo Dust Main is super versatile with other moves such as Final Wave and Toxic to cripple the opposing Pokemon as well as having his Ultra Form by Z Crystal, which cannot be removed. His Ultra Form is much stronger and even has access to its stat boosting moves through Dragon Dance, which Aegislash only has sword stats. Aegislash has his ops, such as being unable to be trapped, and has King Shield, but unfortunately, Aegislash is too predictable and is easy to counter despite having good utilities. In Generation 8, the existence of Zacian Crown and Eternatus completely make Aegislash unviable, not even considering those Pokemon Cut Dex hasn't removed any of Aegislash's targets, but in instead gave Aegislash more targets on itself. On top of all of that, because his Dust Main is still in the generation, hence Aegislash dropped from Ubers, being completely unviable in Ubers. The second reason for Aegislash's drop was the nerf in Generation 8. The two nerfs were Aegislash's base stats and Aegislash's signature move. Aegislash's physical and special bulk both dropped by 10 points in shield form, and another 10 points in attack form in special attack and attack. Having less bulk hinders Aegislash's usability to take hits in battle. Aegislash still boasts a high defense stat, however it still gave a massive impact to Aegislash overall. So from Ubers it dropped to OU. Unfortunately, Aegislash's stat nerf was so bad that it was unable to compete against other bogey Pokemon like Randus Furion, Tapofini, Toxpex, Bellthorn, and a lot more. Even becoming an offensive attacker didn't go well. His speed stat is not just good anymore, to compete against Pokemon like Rillaboom, Tapu Koko, Heatran, and especially Dragapult. Well, it couldn't get any worse, but I did. Aegislash's second nerf was in King Shield, dropping its attack from 2 to 1 in stage. That was basically the one move that made Aegislash great in Generation 6, and somewhat of a niche in Generation 7. It's more like an Intimidate now, however, it is not worth against using against heavy hitters. As a result of his fat nerfs and power creep, Aegislash dropped to UU. Fortunately, Aegislash was sized there perfectly. His defense stats are decent enough to be a good tank, and his attack stat is fighting for average UU Pokemon. It was even given the suspect test back to OU, and luckily it didn't, else Aegislash wouldn't see the light again. So, why was Aegislash dropped from Ubers to UU? Power Clip with the introduction of the Cosmon Dust Main and the heavy nerves to its stats and the signature move King Shield. Let's just hope that Game Freak will give the Mighty Sword its crown next generation.